Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to do this video because I'm going to be painting on these three masquerade masks. I bought all three of these masks at Hobby Lobby along with some other supplies that I'm going to be using to decorate the masks. The first mask is a simple princess looking design. It has a really regular face shape with just some little decoration on the top of it. And then the second mask is actually the most basic type of masks that they had. It's just your regular standard mask. And the third mask is actually probably one of the coolest masks I've seen. It was called the Phoenix Mask and has a Phoenix design on the side of the mask. And starting off, I'm just sanding off the surface of all three of the masks just to ensure that the paint would adhere correctly onto the material. And after preparing the colors that I'm planning on using for the mask, I just use regular acrylic paint to paint on top of the masks as a face layer. The masks are going to have lots of things to adorn it and to decorate it, but I wanted a base color for all of the masks just to keep it with a simple design. The base colors that I'm using are blue, pink, and red. I had to give the masks around three coats of acrylic paint just to ensure that the paint would adhere correctly and that there wouldn't be any bald spots or empty places. It's really important to use many layers when painting things just to ensure that, that you get a nice opaque color. And once I finished painting all of the masks, I just started to start with the red mask, which was named after the phoenix since it had a phoenix design. And so I decided to run with that idea and do a phoenix design for the whole mask. The phoenix is a mythical creature that's known as the firebird. It's a bird that's incended in flames and it's known for rebirth, life, and death. And I actually messed up while making this mask. I technically should have started with the yellow feathers first and then ended with the red, but I ended up starting with the red feathers on accident. I used red, orange, and yellow feathers to adorn the wings of the phoenix design to make it look like fire. And I added red, yellow, and orange gemstones on the full surface of the mask. I'm using Elmer's glue wall to glue on all the gems just to ensure that they stay. Although the glue is somewhat strong, it won't be a permanent bond and it's very fragile. But I am going to be spraying the masks with sealant after I'm finished with all of them. So it's more of a temporary placeholder. I used two main methods to glue on all of the gems onto the masks. The first method was where I would grab the gem with my fingers and then put a little bit of paint or glue onto the gemstones and then place it directly on the mask. But that method took a lot more time, so instead, later on, I decided to just brush on the glue on, straight onto the mask and then place the stems on top of the glued mask. And that seemed to work a lot faster.
And then after I finished the red phoenix mask, I decided to move on to the blue one. For the blue one, I didn't really have too much of an idea, except that I wanted it to be somewhat like ice. And so I decided to glue on white and blue feathers on the two sides of the mask. And then for this mask, I'm only using blue gems to cover the full surface of the mask. Customizing masks are actually really fun. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I normally do, but I found that there's a lot of creativity involved in decorating them and customizing them because the decorating and customizing possibilities are honestly endless. You have so many colors and so many different designs you can do for these masks, and you have different materials you can use. I only use paint, feathers, and gemstones. But you can use things like glitter or sequins or any other material you would want to decorate the masks. And depending on the occasion that you want them for, you can easily decorate them for different holidays or different celebrations. I didn't really have anything in mind like any holidays or celebrations to make them for. I kind of just had them and made them as decoration and not really for use. While I used Elmer's glue wall to glue on the gems, I actually used hot glue to glue in the feathers because it needed to be something a lot stronger. And since the feathers wouldn't be sprayed with the sealant, it needed to be sure to be stuck and it wouldn't fall out. And moving on with the third and final mask, the pink one, I'm using pink feathers to decorate the three corners of the mask, and I'm using pink gems to decorate all of the surface. The process for decorating the three masks were honestly very similar and repetitive, but I really liked the look that the gems gave compared with the feathers and the acrylic paint. I think that the three styles really worked really well together and I think they created a really pretty design onto the three masks. Although the process of gluing each and every gem is very tedious, it's also very rewarding in the end. And here is a closer look at the three masks before they were sealed with a spray sealant. And this is the sealant that I use. It's a semi-gloss clear sealant. And after waiting overnight for the sealant to dry and set, this is how the three masks came out. I have to say this first mask, the Phoenix mask, is probably my favorite out of all of them. I think the fire design did really come through with the feathers and the slight change in gems that I did in the corner with the wings of the phoenix. And I think overall it just was the most detailed. Whereas the blue mask is very monochromatic and it's just very blue. Although I do really like its style and how it looks, it's just not as detailed as the first mask. And then the final mask, the pink mask, I think it came out really pretty. The gems really look nice on top of all of the detail work of the mask. However, overall, I did have a really fun time doing this whole process of customizing the three masks. I really enjoyed all the possibilities when customizing and making them. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope you all enjoyed how the masks turned out. Thank you all so much for watching and God bless you.